I started my clothing journey, my fashion love, actually in great. I used to draw and doodle, and I used to do the little fabric paint drawing and stuff. And then when I joined the military, I kind of, my passion and dreams went away. You know what I'm saying? I was on go, go, go work. You know, I ain't have time for dream. But about five years ago is I got deployed to Japan and I was there for a whole year. Couldn't bring my family. No one spoke English. I'm an extrovert, so that, Bro, that, that shit impressed me though. I, I couldn't speak to people. I, you know, going out in public. So I was kind of like isolated. I used to call home every day, talk to my wife, maybe multiple times a day. So one day she was like, hey, you gotta stop calling me. I can't really help you out. You're bored, you're depressed. I was going through it, you know? And my wife was like, um, you gotta figure out what you love. What would you do for free? That that brings you back to the happy place. And I said, design it. So she told me, she was like, why don't you start designing? But back then I only knew how to freehand. I didn't know how to digital draw or make mock-ups and stuff like that. So my wife was like, you're in the perfect place. You're in Asia, you know, figure it out with some work and some YouTube. And then I met screen printers in Japan that kind of taught me their technique. And Demarciana came about. My actual first line was called Dream Chase because that was the thing that brought me out of my depression chasing my dream. Uh, when I came back, redeployment back to the state, I started doing clothing.